Hi everyone, um, my name is Megan Coates and I'm an archaeology major here at Stockton University and today I'm going to show you um, the basics of Greek Orthodox icon painting. Um, here I have a sketch of St. Peter and that's the icon that we're going to be painting today. Um, the first thing that I want to say is that Greek Orthodox icon painting um, originated in the first century and um, St. Luke was apparently the first icon painter. He painted a picture of Christ and these icons are very important to the um, Orthodox religion. It's very important. Um, they use these icons for veneration and they also place them in churches and um, icon painters in Greece and in Russia and in other places are held in very high regards. So today I just wanted to show you the basics. Um, first thing that I should say is that icons aren't necessarily supposed to be anatomically correct. So when this is finished, um, it's not necessarily supposed to resemble all of the anatomical correctness of a human being. Um, it's supposed to display the piety of the person. And um, it's very symbolic. Each part of the icon is very symbolic. And as we paint the icon, I'm going to discuss the different parts of it. So the first thing that we're going to do is paint our background, and that's the area behind um, our figure, St. Peter. Um, the background is going to be in gold, gold paint, and the gold is supposed to represent the beauty and the glory of heaven. So that's what the gold is for. And it's actual um, acrylic paint, but it has a metallic look, so it's going to have the appearance of gold when we're finished. And we're just going to paint the entire background. Um, very simply. So here we go. So what we want to do here is we want to make sure, so I have this plastic uh, container here that we can just wash off and keep reapplying paint as we need to. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to start at the top in our corners and we're just going to paint in a downward direction so that it, all of the paint is going in one direction, okay? So, now that our golden background is all dry, as you can see, what we're going to do next is what the Greeks call the protoplasmos, and that's called like the first layer. Now that our green protoplasmos has dry, I have here some um, yellow okra, and that's what it looks like there, that's our color. Um, the yellow okra is going to be for his robe that covers his garment.
flesh tone color. Some people like to call it peach, so you can see it there. And then here I have light brown. So this is going to be two parts flesh to one part brown when we mix it together. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're going to paint all of the folds inside of the robe and the outer garment. So I'm gonna do the outer garment first, and what I'm gonna do is, is we're gonna mix the yellow okra that we painted the garment with, with a um, color called burnt umber, which is like a dark brown color, and we're gonna mix it together, and it's gonna create sort of like a darker okra color and the darker okra is gonna outline the folds and the exaggerations in Peter's robe. And what I mean is, is that we're gonna outline the entire robe first in that color and then the inner folds of where naturally the garment would hang and where the garment would fold, where there would be shadows and creases in the garment, that's where we're going to paint them, okay? We're going to do the same thing with green, only instead of using brown okra, I'm going to use black. Okay, so we have our black here. So I'm just going to take a little bit of white to two parts of green, and when we mix it together, it's gonna be a lighter shade of the green that we already have. And what that does is, is that's gonna create highlights for the rope, and you'll see what I mean. So what we're gonna do is take our lighter green tone that we made, perfect. our yellow okra we're gonna mix it two parts yellow okra one part white and we're gonna do the same thing we did here we're just gonna go in along our darker lines and create some highlights um, in the areas where we believe the light would be casting down on the robe We're going to do our next step of highlights, which is gonna be our brightest set of highlights, and that's just gonna be with the color white. We're not gonna mix it with anything else. And here we go. Same thing on top of our yellow okra. 